Hello everybody, it's Lana, and today I'm really happy to be here to show you guys a custom LEGO City overview of my custom LEGO City of Studston on October 6, 2016. I do apologize that it is, has been a while since I've actually shown an update or an overview or any sort of content of the city, specifically about the city. I've just been really busy and I will admit I have kind of wasted some time. I've also just been, again, really crazy and trying to also update some of the stuff in the city that has been updated for a while. It's been a bit of a challenge. You'll see not a ton of new content, but a lot of reorganization in certain areas. And just a lot of really interesting, different new stuff, which I at least hope is interesting. At any rate, I'm really happy with the rate so far, the improvement so far, and definitely uh, am very excited to see what happens in the future. In this video, again, you'll see an overview, so we'll be going over everything to get a quick look at everything, not just focusing on whatever. So, without in just a second, we should be getting started. Enjoy a few more random shots. And we'll start over in this corner with the revamped construction section. This first section, you can see my material transfer vehicle, or an asphalt remixing vehicle, which is specifically designed to remix asphalt. And over in that random corner, there's some random construction junk, and then there's a little more of a view of the ARV, the asphalt remixing vehicle. Here we can see a custom Lego belly dump trailer with a semi that still plans to structure off and improve that trailer. A side dump truck trailer, it's inspired by an actual type truck that I've seen before. Just a larger rear dump truck, a small skid steer loader, and a small, um, oh gosh, front end loader, and an excavator. Here we can see you guys spreading some concrete and my new custom Lego cement mixer. First time build, very impressed with it, very happy with it. Here, we can see some random guy at this truck. Definitely want to follow up that too closely. Looks like he's watching uh, some asphalt paving going on. And here we can see a random truck that's just parked with an asphalt paver in a dump truck full of asphalt, which is currently backing up as the first load has been, first dump that truck, dump truck bed full has been taken care of. Here's another view of that truck front. That is a really fun truck, by the way. I need to get a new video on that. And that was a random space too. Here looks like we have a guy standing up on top of in the top of the lift, looking on this sign for a new the frontage of a store, a natural food store, a front end loader, currently sitting on the plot of a Lego related store with some glass panels. And then on this corner is going to be a vet shop eventually. I can't forget the amazing progress of my coffee shop. <laughs> and then we hear along with traveling following my railroad line, we find my my first custom Lego railroad maintenance truck. That was a quick build, but so cool. Here we have a crane truck, then followed by a generic semi with a nightcap. Then a tow truck I want to mod and my custom tree trimming crew. Here we have my Instacare IC. This is a really fun building and I really enjoyed building it. It's the oldest complete building in my city and I still am very happy with the results. I like it a lot if you can't tell. Here we find, we turn around, we find my new XXL mobile crane. This crane is a unique design which I really love. It's just, it's large, it's cool, it's got cool outrigger legs which I really enjoy. The living, lifting system is very, is very unconventional using string instead of hydraulics. It's got four winches on board, some of them are a bit annoying, the cab also looks cool. And it gets down to an 8 stud width too, technically speaking, kind of, actually just a little bit wider when you go to road transport, it just looks cool. Oh yeah, that guy not knocked over. Ooh, we fixed everything, cool. Alright, moving up we can see the progress of my custom police station. Don't ask me what those guys are doing hanging out in there, it's kind of you know, weirdos. At any rate, here's the front, I'm going to add another story on top of the newer section. But this is what I've got for now. I'm really happy with the fact that I was able to get all the translate blue in there and it look good. And the old section, yes, does use some trans clear. This is made to look like, again, that there's an old section that's been revamped. Going back to the road, we can find a, the tank, a tanker truck, which I need to do some work on, my custom little garbage truck, and my custom little sports car. Moving over, we can see the lack of progress on my gas station plot that I've said multiple times, but there would be progress on. And some train cars from a Lego set. Oh crap, we can't get it crossed. Oh, now we can. We'll just take the road instead and come back. Following here we find some more train car sets with the last few sets remaining in the city, a locomotive which I actually really don't mind, and a custom Lego loco locomotive, and my custom Lego crossing and a train platform of progress. This is a custom version of, of the Lego racing bike transporter and a small like 1970s camper van. And then we can find, oh we got some police scenario going on, we got a, so we got a mobile command center and a police car. Out back here we got the chief, an audio tech, and a tech operating a remote controlled surveillance vehicle. And here is an audio re officer holding an audio, uh, audio receiver, and then there's that little surveillance vehicle and a couple other officers. Can't forget the laundromat, which I almost skipped over with some stuff that needs some maintenance, and the ice cream plot, car that's going to go next door. The bank is a 
And there looks really simple, but it's actually hiding some little t gems and techniques. That was a fun build, especially that roof. And it's kind of funny because you actually won't see anybody popping in the inside. That was a little misinformed call. Even if I uh, take the time to try to get my get one hand to be able to actually open the vault, and of course actually open it the right way, uh, you'll find there's nothing inside there except a plastic bag sitting inside. Here's my custom Lego gooseneck attached to gooseneck flatboard transport. And another look at those police cars. Then we can come across the road to see my arts and IT center. This is still a work in progress, and while well, the exterior is pretty much done, the interior still is completely furnished. It's a fun building, though, and I really enjoy it, and it's a really special project to me personally, and to some people that I know that I need to get working with them on it. Okay, we're going to strap. At any rate, we come over, we find what's going to be eventually a park, and here's the front. There's a reason why it's elevated, which we'll get to around in just a second. As you can see here, we have a motorized rotor cross. Really fun little feature. Going around from that, there's again that, I got a look at that locomotive. Coming around, we find a modded version of the log transporter. Modded, and yeah, it doesn't just hold them very well. There's also a custom bus, and my custom LEGO fire station. This fire station is the largest building by far in my custom LEGO city, at least in plot size. And the chief's truck that got denoted outside. Here's the city maintenance yard, which still needs some work, but still looks really nice, considering they're always messy. Up the right, we have a modded version of the front load garbage truck, a side load garbage truck, a sub pump for drains, cleaning out drains, a dump truck, a street sweeper, a, a, a boom truck, a flatbed truck, and a modded version of the light repair truck, and some random junk sitting around the yard. That definitely can be used to be organized. Random LED light bar obsession. Boom, 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 oh. Okay. All right. Oh, well, thank you guys so much for watching. And it was a lot of fun to film this. Yeah, I cannot believe how many shots this took, but it was a lot of fun. At any rate, I really enjoyed showing you guys this view of my custom LEGO city. And I want to thank you guys again so much for coming. And I want to ask you to like and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this to help me continue to receive motivation and funding to keep on doing this, even though you know, I enjoy it myself. Anyways, go. Build some of your own stuff and be awesome. Slime of bricks. Bye for now. Oh, random shot. That was supposed to kind of actually sell the whole city if I could get it, but ended up looking at my shelf.